sitting under a rock, you will notice that one. Yesterday we had three service members on a loud in Syria. And all government, mostly Republicans, are calling for, for strikes on our land. For three unalive service members, we want to risk starting World War III. Three! But we turn a blind eye and actually support a genocide of 25,000 Palestinians. Make that make sense. Nobody ain't get to the root cause of why, why these service members are being targeted. Number one, we don't have any business in the Middle East. The U.S. keeps saying interest, interest. We have no interest there. If we have some, we need to not have any. This is going to keep happening to our service members as long as they are there. This wasn't happening until this Palestinian um, onslaught by the um, Israelis. This genocide is going on. This is why this happened. But the politicians ain't talking about that. They're not talking about the root cause. The root cause is you guys keep blocking ceasefires by veto in the UN. You're not letting any humanitarian aid get through. You're supporting open air prison camps and you're wondering why these things happening. When will the United States wake up from this imperialist spirit that they got to dominate and control the world. People are tired, man. You know, when a genocide is going on, it's nation's obligation to step up and stop the genocide. That's what the Houthis are doing, but they're not telling you that. By law, they have a right to do what they're doing. Now, the media can spend on how much they want to, but they're trying to stop feeding the genocide by the blockade in the Red Sea. So we're getting back to the three um, soldiers. So we're gonna crash out, crash, you know, you know, condolences to the family of, of the fallen, number one. You know, but no life should be more important than another. We turn a blind out of 25K. 25K, we ain't trying to crash out over that, stop the genocide. But we ready to go, all arms blazing, for military contracts, over three freaking soldiers. World War III, unwavering support for Israel, whether they're right or wrong. Bruh, we need new leadership in Washington, D.C., big time. Because we keep going down the same road. That's all I got. Thank you. Thank you. Media spins things to paint the picture they want to paint. Think for yourself.